Hello. Um, I will. This is a video on how to connect the Wii remote and specifically the Wii guitar to the laptop to your laptop. Um, this specific request was done for Guitar Hero or Breath on Fire or whatever. Um, basically, connecting the Wii Wii guitar to the laptop. You can use your Wii remote for many many things with the uh, program I'm about to I'll show you um, you can use it for a lot of things if you're into programming this is a really good program um, just to mess around with <coughs> but anyway so let's get started first off um, you're obviously you're gonna need the obvious you're gonna need the game that you need want um, you're gonna need a Wii remote and you're gonna need a Wii guitar but there's a couple of things that you're going to have to get off the internet. One is a Bluetooth adapter or a Bluetooth dongle. These are pretty expensive ones. I got mine for one penny, so um, you can find one just wherever you feel like you feel comfortable buying from. Uh, you, but you need to have one of these. And if your guitar, I mean, if your uh, laptop doesn't already have Bluetooth adapters, like mine came with, I mean, uh, Bluetooth drivers. Like my laptop came with a Bluetooth drivers, but not an adapter. Um, first, you want to check to see if your laptop has an adapter in, built inside of it. Like if it's fairly new, it's probably going to have a Bluetooth adapter built inside of it. So check to see if you have one first. If you do not, uh, you can just Google and uh, or Amazon, whatever you do, to find it. Next, you're going to need to download uh, Glove Pie. You just go to this link, which I'll provide in the description, and you just click download, and nothing fancy downloading it. Now, first is the connecting part. Whenever you get the, if you have already have a Bluetooth adapter built in, uh, then you're just going to skip until uh, here in a few seconds. Um, if you have the Bluetooth adapter, just plug it into the computer. And right there at the bottom of the screen, it has the Bluetooth is now showing up. It's it's now working. Um and it's mine's flashing too. So let me know that it's working. Now you're going to need to take the back off the Wii remote. Kind of like you're going to sync it to the uh uh to the Wii you're going to take the back off the Wii remote you're going to go to devices and printers mine's already connected so excuse me it's not going to hurt the device by connecting it and disconnecting it either if that's what you're worried about um, just a tip uh, um, while I'm remembering whenever you um, stop using the Wii remote to the uh, with the laptop. You don't have to resync your Wii remote to the Wii. It automatically does it for you, or at least mine do. But if you have one that j hap I mean, you should check that out because mine uh, doesn't need resyncing to the Wii. I can just take it off the PC, unplug the adapter, and turn it on, and it'll actually turn on my Wii. Okay, so we're here on the control panel the devices and printers you should under devices see your uh, bluetooth adapter if not then it's not it's not in the computer properly you're going to click add a device and you're going to push the red button that's on the back of the Wii remote and then that's going to come up Nintendo R RVL CNT01 you want to click that Pair without using a code. Now you have to wait until this bottom thing says Bluetooth HID device. You have to wait until it says that before closing this screen. Or it just won't connect. Now you also need to hold the red button the entire time until it says Bluetooth HID device. You need to hold the, the red button down. And whenever you let go of it, the all four lights should be flashing. 
that means that it's connected to the laptop. It See, it's there under devices now. It's connected to the laptop. If it goes off, then you have to reconnect it using that method. Now, if you if you download a uh, glove pie which you're going to actually need in order to play any game with the Wii Remote. This is what it looks like at first. Whenever you first open it up, you're going to get a blank screen. Okay. Um, if you're like kind of lazy ish or you just don't feel like learning about the programming inside uh, Glove Pie, I'm going to give you the. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste my code for using my guitar. Um, now, if you do copy and paste this code, um, actually, you know what? I might do it. If, if someone requests it, I might do a separate tutorial on how to use Glove Pie outside of Guitar Hero. But for now, just copy and paste all of this, which. I'm not going to copy this because it's still work like it's not working it doesn't do anything um I'm just testing stuff out so unless I get this part working this is to tilt tilt activate um that's the bad thing about the Wii guitar you can't tilt activate because well as of now I don't know the code for it I don't know how it wants it coded but for up here um this whenever you run basically what this is saying is the the LED light the first LED light on the Wii remote should be on whenever you start running this that means the light the first light should be on now as for these lines right here um these vary from game to game my guitar hero uses the the A key for the first fret or for green and the S key for two or the red and the D key for yellow and so on uh, of course the up and down keys are strum up and down I have uh, the backspace for plus or uh, for the start menu I have space for star power so things like this now whenever you copy and paste this you must save it in order to run it which mine's already been saved and then once you've done with that you can click run now this is the time to check to see if your settings here match the settings on the game so for instance you can go into Guitar Hero and go into settings and go into input configuration I believe um, it'll have like green red yellow blue orange star power or yeah star power um, strum up and down which the strum up and down should be the same for everyone and I think um, the space key and the shift key for whammy bar should be default for everyone I think I did these but you can change the settings in Guitar Hero to match this um that's really all that's it I mean if you once you connect the the Wii remote uh, you'll need to plug it into the guitar before running this though like that was my mistake a lot I would, wouldn't plug it into the guitar until after I had done all this so you'll want to plug it into the guitar, uh, uh, connect it, and then run Glove Pie. Um, run this right here. And I think that's it. Uh, just open up the game, and it should work if you have all the settings uh, set, set the same as this. Um, remember, if you want to learn more about Glove Pie, I, I know a lot about it, so um, I can definitely make another tutorial on how to run Glove Pie itself and not just the Wii guitar. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, comment or message me. I'll be glad to help.
See you later.